Today's devotional is called Fuel It Up. Remember, you can check out the blog post on www.crownedinglorieblog.wordpress.com and it's also in the description box below, so you can click that link and it will take you right to the page. Every car, no matter how new or how strong it is, needs fuel to run. The purpose of having a car mostly is to get you from point A to point B. It has a purpose, it has a reason for why it was created. But there's that missing piece that helps it function, and that's the aspect of fuel. Now when we take this example and make it kind of realistic and make it personal, when we think about our lives, we get empty at times. We get so empty where we can't even pour out to anybody. Not just people, but even into our work, into our goals, into what we're trying to strive for because we've reached the empty mark. And it's most times that at that point we realize, I need to refill. And in that process, we witness what looks like basically putting your priorities together, refocusing restructuring and doing what's needed to get back to that place of being full. I just want to remind you that you, my friend, you have a purpose. God made you with a purpose. He created you to fulfill various things for his kingdom and for his glory. But in order to discover what that purpose is, you need to fuel up with his word. And in order to continue to function in your purpose well, you need to stay connected to Jesus. It's just like a phone. The more you use it, the more the battery is going to go down. And obviously you need to plug the charger in as it fills up for you to use it again later on. When we spend time with God, we are given more ideas and more vision to fulfill and execute the purpose we have been created for. You were not created to function at E, but you were created to function at a level of overflow. So that as you're overflowing, you're pouring into other people's cups. There is so much the Lord wants to teach you. There's so much he wants to reveal to you, but you have to do your part and seek his face and spend time with him and allow him to work on you. Give the Lord access to every area of your life so he can really work on those places that you're struggling in and prune you in those areas that you're holding on to that you know that you need to let go of. Allow the Lord to do his job by working in you and be obedient as you work in his vineyard, serving him with joy. As you remind yourself of what really matters, stay encouraged, and let's keep running to a place called grace.